So today's dish, uh, hopefully, will come across as a, a, tradi a traditional uh, Korean dish called. Excuse, excuse me if I butcher this. Nyam nyam? Is, is that close enough? Nyam nyam! Exactly, thank you. Uh, so basically it's a chilled soba noodle or buckwheat noodle um, with a Korean spicy, um, almost a, a kojijan broth, or tea I call it. And we're basically going to make like a, a slushy or a sorbet out of it uh, using the nitrogen. Uh, kojijan is a Korean fermented chili paste. They typically age it for months in vats, even years. So it gets that really deep depth of uh, chili flavor. So what we do here is we're just going to take some um, buckwheat noodles. Basically, you're just going to cook the buckwheat like you would pasta. Uh, boil some water, salt it if you like, uh, and then cook it to like a dante flavor, or so you can throw it to the wall. <laughs> uh, season that up with a little salt, a pinch of sugar, and um, you know, I think for, for me, food has to be, food has to be, uh, you should always have that trinity of flavors, like in Asian culture, you have always sweet, sour, salty. Um, that doesn't mean that every single dish has to be sweet, sour, salty. You have like bitter, sour, uh, tart, umami, um, earthy. So any dishes that I compose always have these mixtures. Uh, I'm actually going to add some watermelon to this, to this dish. I think the watermelon is re really refreshing, and it's a new take on, uh, on this dish, you know, just really balancing the, the fermented chili paste. Uh, we're going to add some enoki mushrooms to give a little earthiness. Cut some scallions here. Of course, you don't want to cut your finger. So I have koji jar, rice wine vinegar, sugar in here. And what we're going to do is add the liquid nitrogen to this mixture. Now, once again, you got to be really careful with the nitrogen. I mean, it can literally, it can freeze like the cilantro here. It shatters into like a glass. So we're going to take this, uh, the nitrogen here. And this is actually a quick way, when I was on Top Chef, this is how we would make ice cream. Because you're just allotted a certain, you know, um, amount of time. And uh, using the nitrogen diversifies your technique, because you can do it like in two minutes. I'm just going to let it spin. And the nitrogen is just going to freeze it. And basically, you want to just hear the... The crackling of the nitrogen, then you know that the, uh, the mixture is done. Okay, so I have my buckwheat needles, my watermelon, scallion, salt, add the sugar. We're going to mix this together. So you can either make like a slushy, like you have here. Everybody see that? Alright, I'm just going to put dollops of this on top. And if you just let this set a little bit, then the uh, the of table or the slushy will just melt down. A little scallion, some cilantro. There you go. That's the dish.